you are either considering taking this course or you are taking the course. So let's give you a description of the course whether you've already signed up or you haven't. This is a fully lectured, fully equipped, fully software course, meaning that it was developed with all the hardware, all the software, and we're going to talk about everything, including some subjects that were added free. Anything to do with basic electricity or physics, these videos are free on YouTube. I added them into the, this series free. You're not paying for them, okay? They are free on YouTube, but I put them in the series for easy access. Then there's a group of lectures that are philosophical in the sense that they discuss what does a PLC do? Why would you want to use one? Okay, what are input devices and output devices? What is PLC hardware? What does it look like? Where does it go? And finally, what is a PLC? Including what is ladder logic diagrams? The last lecture in the philosophical uh, appetizer, you know, peak your mood, mood setting lectures is specifically on creating or building a little micro 800 learning station. You don't need a controller. I own all the controllers. When I say this course is fully equipped, I mean it was developed with everything that you could get to develop the course. I have an 810, an 820, an 850, and an 870. Sitting somewhere behind me here. I have all those controllers. I've used them all. So all of the lab projects in this manual, part one, third edition, that's the manual that you have to purchase to do this course. Third edition, part one. All of these lab projects were done with hardware. But all the discussions and lectures to support all these lectures, and by the way, I mentioned some physics lectures and then some philosophical lectures that's generic to any controller. Then we jump into lab projects. That's the bulk of all the lectures are discussing the lab project, the hands-on lab projects and we do all of the discussion with the simulator, which comes with the free version of Connected Components Workbench as a download from Rockwell Automation. This is version 12 that we did this course with. And as time goes on, if version 13 comes out, I'll just add a couple more lectures to cover the differences. You have to buy this manual on the website, PLC eUniversity. Just Google PLC Professor and PLCE University will come up and you go buy third edition part one. Now, if you do decide to buy a controller, I recommend the 820 because it has Ethernet. And I, recognize, I recommend the QBB because it has the higher speed DC inputs and outputs. And as you can see behind me, all of my I.O. is hooked up to lights and switches. I, there's a conveyor sitting over there behind me with a PowerFlex 525. Speaking of which, the, there's another document available in this series that is specifically for the PanelView 800 and the PowerFlex 525, integrating those into a Micro 800. That's not part of this course. That's something separate. Because there is no simulator of any sort for the PanelView 800. Not like there is for PanelView Plus and the Factory Top View products where your license, which is very expensive, that's on your laptop, you can actually do a runtime. You can turn your laptop into a HMI and you can run your project. You can't do that with the panel view 800, at least not yet. So if you are considering taking this course, it, like I said, it's fully lectured, fully equipped, and you can complete the whole course without buying any hardware other than you need your computer with an operating system compatible with Connected Components Workbench.